Okay, welcome to the personal property tour for 57 Lawmill Gardens in St Andrews. It's an amazing three bedroom, semi detached property, two reception rooms down, downstairs. They're open plan to each other. You've got a living room and you've got a dining room off to the rear, and then you've got the kitchen to the side. Uh, okay, let me take you on the tour, but first of all, I'll talk about this bit here. We are in a cul de sac, which is ideal. If you've got a young family, this could be perfect for you, this property. You've also got off street parking uh, where you're driving, and you've got your garage there as well. And then the back garden more or less sits in the sun all day long. I'll talk about that in a, in a wee while. Uh, now, uh, just down the bottom of there, you've got access into Laid Braes, which is the walk. You can walk or you can cycle um, into the town centre, into Market Street, North Street and South Street. Uh, access to the cafes, bistros and restaurants. Uh, University Town of St Andrews, Home of Golf. Access to the West Sands, the East Sands beaches, the Fife Coastal Path, the open water swimming, the golf, the university. What more could you ask for? Local primary school is actually nearby, and then the high school is Madras, um, which is a top performance school. Uh, private school is at St Leonard's as well. Let me take you on this tour, and, uh, and, and I'll give you more details towards the end, and I'll show you this property. More or less, needing a quick go over in the front garden, I would say, but inside, ready to move in, definitely. Uh, so as you can see, you can get plenty of space in here for off-street parking. You've probably got a car in here quite comfortably, a car up there quite comfortably. If you want to open the double gates, you can get up into the garage with your car. Uh, but if you've got a pet or anything like that, they'll all be enclosed in that back garden. That could be ideal as well. Okay, so as we come in, I see straight away laminate floor, more or less all the way throughout, which is great, it's nice and tidy. As I said, it's probably ready to move in, and you'll see that as you go through. We'll go up and see the three bedrooms upstairs first, and the shower room up here as well. It's got good storage. Storage cupboard here, storage cupboard up in the attic there. Uh, first of all, right in front of me, we've got the shower room. So, WC and sink, and set into the vanity unit. You've also got the shower enclosure with electric shower in there. Uh, off to my left hand side here first of all and um, we've got the first of the double bedrooms. So a good sized double bedroom overlooking the rear garden. That's a nice picture window isn't it? The way that looks, blue skies, white fluffy clouds, that's exactly what we want. And a back garden that has the sun on it mostly all the time which is ideal. Uh, you've got a cupboard for storage there as well. It does have the hot water tank there in that cupboard as well. Off to the side here, again to the front, we have a good sized double bedroom in here. They're all good sized bedrooms in this area. Let me give you a look at the front from the top window, just so you can see. And there, you can see my car at the bottom there as well. No doubt you could get easy parking down there more than likely. But that's access, as I said, into Laid Braes, into the walk, the historic walk. Um, and takes you more or less everywhere. It's a network of walkways all the way throughout the St Andrews area. Uh, and then this one. Now, it's, would I describe it? Probably is a good size single, but just to give you a bit of perspective here, you could easily fit a double bed right across here and up to about there. And you've still got all that space here. So a computer area to the side here. And then you've got this cupboard as well for storage uh, for hanging clothes and shelving as well. So, you know, it depends how you want to use it, but I tell you what, it's a good sized room. Okay, let's pop downstairs, see the two reception rooms, open plan to each other. See what I mean about that? It's a nice big reception area in there. Good size, eh? Okay, let me just sit in this corner. Um, okay, a good size living room to the front here, as you'll see. got that understairs covered for storage and then it's open plan into the dining area I would probably call that the dining area you can see that sofa there but the great thing about that sitting near the three-seater it gives you a bit of perspective about the size and the depth of the, of the actual room itself uh, double patio doors to the sliding door to the front there or the sorry the rear uh, going out to the rear garden so it could be ideal you can see the sun shining in it's going to team in there quite most of the day to be honest and uh, we're sitting at around about 10 o'clock the now and the sun's beating down in the back garden, and I'll show you where it is in perspective to everything else. Okay, so off to the side here, we have a good sized kitchen, plenty of storage all the way throughout. You've got your dishwasher there, your sink and under counter for a washing machine. And then across to the other side, uh, you've got your oven, hob and extractor above. See what I mean about ready to move in? 
LED lighting on the kicker boards. Great, isn't it? And then there's a setback garden. Good size, isn't it? But then bonus is you've got that garage. Lots of storage in there. You've got a door to the rear, so you can easily get a car in there and you can get access into the rear as well for storage and maybe a wee workshop area, if that's what you're looking for. But what I love most about this is probably I would be trimming that back. That would be a perfect seating area. Have a cup of coffee in the morning. The sun is beating down. It's 10 o'clock and it's just right here. I have a sneak suspicion it's going to be here at 12 o'clock. So it's going to be on this garden more or less all day long. Long. A good amount of privacy in here, I would say. Let's, let me walk up the back and I'll show you why as I'm going up here. So let's get to the back. See, there's no rail. There's only one, but it's got a blind in there on that window. So good amount of privacy there. Good amount of privacy here. These cover up next door's window. And then that's a, a good bit of privacy here as well. And again, over here. And you've got the sun teeming in into the back garden and then over there. And it's probably going to come, going to come down over here. So that's why I think this is a really good area to further develop into what you want it. A bit of deck into the rear here. And then you've got this monoblock, it could all be cleaned up. And then you could have seating here as well. You've got a wee shed over there. And then you've got seating to the rear. And then that could be your drying area. So this could be perfect. Perfect family home for someone. Definitely. What do you think? You gonna take it? I would certainly consider that. It's great. It's in a great location. I love it. It's really good access, easy access, and it's it's out of the way, but it's but it's accessible to everything else in the area. It basically through the network of the Lead Breeze, um, which is all the, the walking route and everything like that. And it's accessible to everything else round about the area as well. Uh, just a short drive to the East Sands, to the leisure centre for the swimming. Um, you could do open water swimming as well, to be honest, on the East Sands. And you've got the harbour down there. And then you go across to the other side, you've got the old course. Um, and then you've also got the West Sands uh, beach as well, which was the uh, Chariots of Fire. Beach race was there in the film. That's where it was done. Um, so. This is a fantastic area, a fantastic lifestyle choice here. It could be perfect for your family. It could be perfect first time buyer home as well. Um, you get further details on this post. You can just click on the link above or below, or you can contact us direct if you need more information. You can contact us on 01334 65 42 21, or you could message us direct on this post. Remember to check out the drone footage. It'll give you a real good perspective where everything is in relation to this. Uh, just a wee short distance is where you've got access to the supermarket through Morrison's and then uh, and you've got access to a whole lot of other amenities. Marks and Spencer's is one of them for me. <laughs> I always have to go there. <laughs> anyway, apart from that, let's, no, let's talk about it. Let's focus on the property again. Um, so, as I said before, more details on this post. Click on the link above or below. See the photographs and descriptions. And if you need to get in touch with us, message us direct. Contact us on 01334 uh, 65 42 21. Until next time, guys, I'm Jim Parker for Five Properties TV. I'm going to bask in the sun a wee bit longer. Bye-bye for now.